Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with Ivan, George, and Nick. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Before we start, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know. You can also leave a comment to help us improve, or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce our decks, starting with Ivan. Hey guys, today I'll be playing a Lorene based deck. This might seem more on the traditional side, but I do have some spicy text to, for the late game to maybe hinder my opponents. Very cool. Alright George, you're up next. Hi everyone, I'm here back again with Poison Katana, with my guy... Kazen the Freedom Fighter as the center point for any multiple uh, win conditions that I have. I'm focused on blue and purple, so get ready for that. Cool. All right, Nick, take it away. All right, my deck for today is Yumi Avid Painter. Uh, Yumi wants you to play a whole bunch of different card types, and I need to keep filling my hand with cards that are sort of pretty cheap to get her points to be maximized. So, you know, I figured we're going to try to make things cheaper and play cheap cards to do so. I call it the cycling trip, because everything sort of replaces itself, and we go really fast. Ah, okay, cool. A nice cycling trip. All right, and finally, we have me playing Mauricio, Gloomy Poet. Today, it's all about emo power. The plan is to play out a bunch of denizens, then remove them using cards like Dishearten, and Demoralize, and Scold, and that sort of thing, because Mauricio wants to show everyone that there's beauty in tragedy. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. All right, so... I think for my first move, I mean, what better way to start the game than Kaunea, City of the Night? <laughs> Every single Last time day. you get it in your opening hand. I don't know how. That's right. That's right. So I invite you guys to look at the top card of your deck. <laughs> and let's get the ball rolling with History of Education. Free draw. That's pretty good. And I think I'll end my turn just like that. Okay. So... My turn. I start on turn one, so I get one gold, and I will start with Hidden Flower Patch to get things rolling. I will take my free draw, and I will put my gold inside the Hidden Flower Patch and pass my turn. All right. I feel like my turn is going to look similar, but we'll see, because I'm dropping a Hidden Flower Patch. Mm. No! And taking that free draw. Wait, I know what that is. Did I want that? I forget. I forget. Uh... I didn't. I didn't want it. So we're gonna use a quiet path as well to look at the top one and then put it on the bottom, and then we'll take a draw, a free draw. That was a better card, but uh, we're not playable this turn. So we'll we'll do the same thing. We'll charge up our hidden flower patch with a search counter. All right, sounds good. And that's it. All right, take my turn. Get my goal for turn. And because Kalnea, City of the Light, is out, I'm actually just not going to bother playing locations. I'm just going to immediately play a obnoxious name caller for one, and then I'll use my free draw, wow. and then I'll pass it over to you, Ivan. All right. Let's start off with putting a counter on my for my history of education. Mm, be going up to two gold. I think it's a good idea to probably play this familiar road. I'll mark it as a blue aligned location. Cool. I'll be taking a free draw. Interesting. I think I'm just gonna do this play solely because it's hilarious, but uh -oh. uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be playing one obstructive roadblock and targeting your yes. hitting flower patch, George. Fair enough, fair enough. I, I always yeah, advocate yeah. for good responsible for gaming. Is it hilarious always. to give another obstructive roadblock for my patch? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll be using my history of education. Uh, drawing a card. And I think you hit it on the nose, Nick. Yes, I will yes. be putting down another obstructive roadblock. Yes! Oh, boy. Yes! Yeah. I don't think I've ever played a patch since this roadblock came out and it wasn't obstructed. <laughs> it's very unfortunate, yes. Um, let's see here. Uh, yes, I think I will abandon Kaunea to draw a card. And I'll end my turn. Man, you make it so hard. Okay, yep. so my turn, two gold. I play my obnoxious name caller hmm. for one gold, and I draw a card for my free draw. <sighs> um, yeah, I guess I have to. So I play 
an obstructive roadblock. <laughs> Two avenues where I'll never get out of. I guess I choose his hidden flower patch. Yeah. Right. Crazy. Flower patch is locked down by both of these. So this is roadblock three, roadblock three, and it's also locked down by roadblock one. Yes. And I think that's all of my moves for now. So I will pass my turn. All right. Gain my two gold. I think that's where I'll be stuck for the rest of the turn, but <laughs> miracles do happen. Let's take our free draw. Interesting. Uh, I think I'll be content letting these name callers maybe do each other in. So let's play Junila's Curiosity for two. Mm. Wish for better things for next turn. Yes. All right, cool. Get my gold for turn. All right, so I'm going to do a weird play, even though my hand is full. I'm actually going to use my free draw right now. So I'm going to put that card into my hand and then have to put it on top of my deck. And I basically did that just because I wanted to see what's on the top of my deck, because now I'm going to do the hand recess, which is usually Whoa. a move you don't want to do, but in certain situations, you may be forced to do it, like I am in right now. I would rather just get a fresh hand than to try to wait till um, I get enough gold to, to play these things with alignment tags. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Resetting the hand looks as follows. Put all cards in your hand on the bottom of your deck, drop back up to seven, and shuffle your deck. And unfortunately, because I've used my hand reset, I now have to immediately end my turn. I cannot do anything else. So I'll lose the gold for the turn and pass it over to you, Ivan. I have a suspicion that you did not have a purple line location. Yeah, I figured I'm playing with Ivan today. He's obviously going to drop Kalnea turn one. I'm just going to keep all gas. <laughs> oh, I man. Was, I was half right. hope left with I was that half right. Yeah. So I guess it was relevant that I did abandon it. That was yep. pretty good. So I'll be going up a counter and going up three gold for my turn. I'm going to put down a Statue of the Good King, just to make sure that I'm aligned to white. And then I'll be playing my uh, Crackdown on Crime for three. Let's see, have I taken a free draw? No, I have not taken a free draw. Let's see. That's pretty good. Yes, I'll be using my History, History of Education. Education. Yep. Yeah. Man, this guy's stacked up. I mean, honestly, I do want to play more cards, but at the same time, I am kind of scared of those obnoxious name callers. So, <laughs> I think I'll pass. All right, George, okay. I, have a, I have a proposition for you. Since Crackdown on Crime is probably going to go after our stuff, how about we don't remove our own things and we just keep them around to remove Ivan's stuff so at least we're, we're even. So he removes our stuff and we remove his stuff. What do you think? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I don't, I don't mind that plan. Okay, so let's go with loading me up with three gold. Got a free draw. I got six cards. I will take that free draw now. All right. Well, I gotta play cards. I mean, so you don't I'm have to. Going have to. to. There's no rule that says you have to play cards. You could just pass your turn. Don't listen to them. I'm trying to psych <laughs> you out. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You don't want your dentist in Spanish, do you? You're right, but also. Yeah, you don't uh, need denizens. I mean, who's ever won with denizens? Oh, uh, I gotta play him. So oh! I'm gonna play my other obnoxious name caller. <laughs> the second obnoxious name caller. <laughs> and I'm oh, gonna play so my first supportive friend. Okay, okay. I mean, that's another way to deal with cracking on crime. Just play so much stuff that, you know, that you just outrun it. Yeah, it only answers two denizens. So I, I pass my turn. All right. Starting my turn with gaining some gold and a phase counter. And we'll start by... Getting some information by putting some uh, putting a card into my hand. Pretty good one. It does get to be cheaper. We'll, we'll do a bunch. So yeah, we will use activate Janiel's curiosity, and I will put this card on the bottom of my deck. Will it reveal to you? No, it, that's not information, right? No. no. Okay, so we'll just put this card in the bottom of my deck. And so now things are cost one less. So that will be for my champion. Get out here, Yumi. No, oh, jeez. One of that will be for Art. remove distractions. Art attack. That's Art very attack. big. Art attack. And uh, one of them will be for decorated path. Mm. And then I will look at the top card of my deck. This is an art attack. Yep. Like that this one. This is I'll an leave art it attack. There and then abandon it. You draw one card. Inspiration unlocked. Oh no. It's true. So with that in mind, I will use the inspiration of Yumi's ability to gain three points and make an art counter, or make an art token. And we'll sell it as uh, there's a bunch of attackers on board. They might take care of it. I've seen that happen before. So sell <laughs> for two gold. We'll play a history education. Nice. And then a preventive measures. Oh, preventive measures. 
So no. I'm, I'm going to look your decks. Starting with Alvin. Yeah, it's pretty right. key. I'm playing a pretty spread out strategy today, so I'm not I'm not too terribly concerned about this card. You and your yeah. mono champion decks. I, I, I forget. Can you let me know if I have anything relevant in there? <laughs> uh, it'll be it. in your inactive zone in not too long. Yeah, you'll you'll see it very shortly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do I have in there? What is your numero uno power play here? I mean, I, I, this card is very powerful in a vacuum, so you'll all see it. I'm taking Mauricio's inspiration out. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's very powerful. Deck. Yeah, I think I'm pretty safe. I'm pretty okay with losing anything, to be honest. You too, huh? This is very unlike you. Uh, very? I thought so too when I made this deck. Wait, that means they're all in his hand. Yep. <laughs> Six of them right now. Yep. <laughs> I mean, just this is just past performance indicating. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. oh, so yeah, yeah. You're using uh, inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning together, which is very Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> this card is very, very strong, so let's uh, take one of these away. Senior Tactician. Mm. Ah, Senior, senior tactician. tactician, yeah. It's George, great. now. Mm. Info, George. info. Oh, cool. Yeah, I ex expected, expected that card. Mm. <laughs> I think, just because I may not have an answer for this, we'll take out yeah. your Black Mora Powder. Ah! Just because Yumi's, she's pretty fragile, but sometimes things happen. They do happen. And we draw a card from this effect, finally, and we will put it into the inactive zone. Yumi does generally a lot of actions. That might be one of the longer turns, but we'll see. We'll pass. <laughs> um, all right. Get my goal for turn. Board state is looking V interesting. Um, all right. So, George, I did promise not to touch this obnoxious name caller, but I said nothing about this one. So, of course. That one's... Damn. That's diabolical. Well, when I made the deal with these two on the field... I did not know this was going to be played, so that's information that was not aware. I was not aware of during that deal. So, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Grand Theater. Now I'm aligned to purple, and then I'm going to go ahead and play Mauricio, the gloomy poet, and then I'm going to go ahead and play another location, the hidden waterfall. Now I'm going to use my free draw, and I'm also going to activate Grand Theater because now that I control two denizens aligned to purple, I can do that and get value for it. So now I've played three cards in total this turn. Inspiration is unlocked for the Noxious Name Caller. I'm going to use his Inspiration ability to give Yumi minus one, minus one. Hmm. Because those kids weren't that mean to each other after all. Uh, they, they are, they're going to be. They're going to be. So Nick, you're currently locked down by two roadblocks here. And I think just for the memes, I'm going to go ahead and play my own obstructive roadblock. And I'm going to imprint this flower patch. <laughs> Sure. Keep it coming. So now it's. I had no hope versus the first one. What do you think two more are going to do? <laughs> so if by some miracle this and this are removed, you're still going to have to contend with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So that's one gold. And then now I'm going to go ahead and have the obnoxious name caller attack this obnoxious name caller. They're going to trade. And when he leaves play, Mauricio is going to score me two points. On the board, as they say. And now I'm gonna go ahead and activate Hidden Waterfall's ability, paying one gold to put a search counter on him. Pass it over to you. Yeah, this is a very interesting board state. <laughs> All right, let's start off, I believe, with yeah, another campaign. Avoid conflict. Avoid conflict. For three eh? gold. Yep. I'm gonna draw a free card. Yeah, why not? Let's so one of my perspective roadblock, the one targeting Nick's hidden flower patch. All right, so Nick is no longer roadblocked by Ivan's. As one much step as it's closer. Fun. Yeah, one step closer. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's go up a gold. Let's play this statue of good king. I'll use my history education to draw a card. Yeah, let's let's uh play. Harmless Kitten. Cool. Yeah. I will abandon Statue of the Good King, the one that was here before. Mm -hmm. And I still have a Crackdown on Crime. You also have use. this that you haven't used yet. Friendly reminder. I, I do. Thank you. So what uh, you I could do, crackdown. Ivan, hear me out here. You could use the arrival ability of Statue of the Good King to buff his health, and then you could use Crackdown yeah. on Crime to banish it. That's crazy, man. 
It, that is how, I could do that. You're yeah, you could wrong. do that. It's a legal play. Yeah, I think you're mistaking it, it, him for having a Mauricio out, but you actually have the Mauricio out. <laughs> Mauricio seems interesting, uh, but I also don't want to get a minus one from George. And then Supportive Friends is also on the field. Um, and George is actually getting quite good at the game, so I'm actually scared <laughs> of any plays you could do this turn. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll go for the obnoxious name college. And then my last move will be giving plus one health to Harmless Kitten from a Statue of Good King. And that's all the actions I could do this turn. <sighs> Great. Great. So that's four gold for me. My turn. Uh, free draw. Let's draw a card. Or just turn sure. of ultimate vengeance. <laughs> I play Kalnea. <gasps> Heck yeah. Yes. City of the Light. Blight. Darn. And I get to draw another card. You can you can all draw a card. Gladly. Done and done. I play efficient workflow. Oh, really? I didn't expect Wow, that. okay. Yes. Okay, I didn't expect the blue card at all. I guess the supportive friends will knock Mauricio. Alright. Turning them hostile, eh? Yes. Alright. I pass my turn. Hey, alright. Turn. Four gold, all the phase counters. I think we start with draw two from remove distractions. Mm -hmm. Discard one. How do you choose? Well, you you pick one and then you put it into the inactive zone. Yes, uh, intellectually, not physically. <laughs> In case I wasn't clear. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and okay. Uh, I think we have enough of this, so we'll put. This into the inactive zone, Mr. Astute Scholar. Yeah, you've got quite a lot of draw power already. Quite a lot. Uh, speaking of draw, my free draw for the turn will happen now. Be good. Nice. I should probably gain some points. You don't have to. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> well, you okay? We use Junila's Curiosity to put a card in the bottom of my deck, which will be this one. Uh, my cards are cheaper this turn. Discount of one. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring Yumi back out. A champion for two. I'll play a Kalnea. Another one, eh? Wow. Thank Thanks you! George. Yeah. Wait, what? High five, George. Does Alvin have a Kalnea th for the third? <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I put Kalnea City of the Light in this deck, but that would also be a what? very funny... That would, that would probably go into... Yeah, I have not drawn from History Education. I think we just oh, do yes. that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to play... It. Our last two will be for Demoralize. Hmm. Interesting. Make the campaign flow... No! Rolling. And that's my... Yeah, it's the inspiration is unlocked with a, a location and Yumi and Demoralize. And mm -hmm. that's three card types, so I'll score points. Make yet another art token. Bonkers. That is quite bonkers. Pass turn. Okay, gold for turn. <sighs> All right. Okay, 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 okay. That Demoralize is actually not the worst thing for me. In fact... I think I actually kind of like that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and play my own Demoralized. One, two, three. So now with the, both of these in play, I think we've got a pretty good lockdown on the game. And actually, Mauricio does not really care that much. Okay, I know what your Demoralize is for, sir. Don't, don't tell me you're locking things down. Well, I mean, I have the option, right? Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and sell my roadblock. So Nick is almost free. Crazy. So, yeah, it's actually going to come up. Yeah, Absolutely. and then I'm going to play Remove Distractions for my last two gold. Uh, I think this is a good time to use my free draw. Go ahead and do that. I will go ahead and play Decorate the Path. Activate his arrival ability, looking at a top card. Yes, let's keep that there. Abandon this to draw a card. All right, awesome possum. Over to you, Ivan. This game is becoming too convoluted. Uh, all right. <laughs> I like where this game is going, actually. This is this is pretty good. Okay, let's start off by playing Ask Donations. For one gold, mm -hmm. I will be taking my free draw. I mean, I'm thinking of just playing cards for the sake of playing cards, to be honest. Just for when we drop some more Kalneas, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when Alvin drops his Kalnea. Yeah. No, nope, I'm I pretty sure I'm not running card. City of the Light in here. Yeah, let's play... Yeah, I wrote a treasure for two gold. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll summon my 
Three. green for two gold. I'll use my avoid conflict and I'll use it on my royal treasure here. Uh, I'll be using the synergy of a treasurer to go up to gold. Yeah, let's do this. Let's play training dummy for one gold. And then I will play uh, erase memories, I'm thinking, for the supportive friends. <sighs> I'm thinking I'll use this crackdown on crime on Yumi. Alright. And sweet play, has bro. Turn. Okay, so my turn. I will take my first. I will take my free draw now. I activate efficient workflow so that until the end of my turn, cards I play cost one less gold to play. Remove distractions. Nice. Again, for one gold. I also play hidden flower patch. Watch out, and George. I also, and I also play a... astute scholar for two gold. Very nice. And I draw two cards. <laughs> and I play Demoralize with the rest of my gold. Board states, man. <laughs> How is this possible, man? How <laughs> so much for all that health? Uh, yeah. Uh, I am very amused. I'm going to sell my obstructive roadblock. <gasps> Amazing. It it actually you're Happened. you're gonna be able to use your hidden flower patch now. Whole gold. What 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 am I gonna do with it? Losing my I don't mind. Know, but you have it now. <laughs> and yeah, now I abandon Kalnea to draw again, and I play my chromatic ring. Very cool, George. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to take my supportive friends, and I'm going to attack. This obstructive roadblock. Sure, dude. Breaking it down. Soon all I've the been... flower patches will be freed. And I pass my turn. All right. All right. Nick is going to pop off turn. He's got this and this now. In gold. All the phase counters. Oops, that's the wrong thing. All the phase counters. Go up a gold by activating hidden flower patch. Yeah, I think we, we got to sell this. Sell the artwork. Two more gold. Yumi's doing well in the in the market right now. She's sold two artworks. People are loving it these days. She's all the rage. Yeah. Well, what better time than when there's no crackdown on crime and play? Play a senior tactician. Mmm. It's not looking good for us. Now we'll use the remove distraction his ability to draw two. All the insight going to be unlocked. I think we'll put this into the inactive zone. Yeah, Master Craftsman. We'll play a familiar road imprinted to blue for now. Uh, yeah, so with things being cheaper now, play Yumi for two. <sighs> so crazy. We'll, we'll take a free draw. I just have to make sure I drew two and then no more draws. So yeah, we'll have a free draw left and a history education draw. Why is deck so complicated? Uh, okay, just to gain maximize points, we will play a scold. Oh. Gold is going is... to hit the Royal Treasurer once. And, uh, George could have taken out my Arbor, but he didn't. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him hang on to things and a kitten. This is <laughs> amazing. Yeah. That's my last gold. Kindness. And then Demoralize will finish off the Royal Treasurer and just yeah. poke the I feel really bad. Let's poke the kitten a little bit more. Okay. Go. All that out of the way, I have three card types. That was a tactic. We've done denizens in a location. So Yumi gains me three. I'll put that art token right back into play. Probably getting targeted now that I've done all these crazy things. Not really. Oh, okay. Are you sure, uh, George? I mean, at this point. No, he's definitely he's definitely setting himself up to be a threat. Yes, like yes, of course. No, of course. I'm, I'm turbo gaining points here ahead of y'all, so I expect it. Let's uh, use the fetch ability of the senior tactician to go shopping, view my deck. Now this one we do get to see. Yes, I'll make sure to reveal it to you. Probably gonna be a simple one. I'm a simple man. Yeah, it is okay. I reveal to you outmaneuver and shuffle for future insurance. And uh, yeah, so enough of that. Let's see what Alvin has. Pass. All right. Well, Nick, you're looking very scary. I'll get my gold for turn. Bring it on. Get my counters. Um, let's see. So if George does attack this into this, that 
cuts you out two gold, but that's turn six with a discount of one. I actually cannot do anything about this right now. Um, okay, so let's see if I can draw into something. First thing first, I'll play... Yeah, plenty of draws to be had. Yeah. Jealous Spouse for one gold, and then now that I have... Oh, I, I'm also not using my free draw right away. I'll use it later, but first I'm going to use my Remove Distractions to draw two cards and discard one. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and discard this, because I don't think that's what I want right now. Um, all right, and then now I'm going to use my free draw. All right, so I'm going to activate Hidden Waterfall, spending one gold to put a search counter going up two, to go up to five gold. And then I'm going to play this card, the Tranquil Cottage. And then now I'm going to abandon this to draw another card. I will play Mauricio for one. I will play another Jealous Spouse for one. And I'm going to have my Demoralize give both of these individuals minus one, minus one. And when they leave play, they're going to score me two points each. <laughs> nice. Um, Very well done. All right. And just because we're like 100% meme mode in this game, Ivan, check it out. Another Demoralize. Yeah. Jeez. All the memery. So, yeah, I mean, I, I really, I just can't do anything about Nick, so... Abandon this familiar road. Draw a card. Oh, did you announce your free draw, by the way, Ivan? No, yes. I use my free draw. There's no good, there's no good plays here. <laughs> Not a single good play here. Uh, all right. I think I want to do this right now rather than later because nothing's assured right now. So let's play ourselves a trend for four gold. Mm, okay. Yeah, just because I want to uh, secure So that's going to cost you six least. gold because you have no blue alignment. Oh, I'll just Kalnea out. out. Oh, Kalnea's out. Got it. Yeah, Kalnea's out. Good catch. Yeah. I think I'll activate my reconsider now. Yeah. And that cost me one gold. I guess I'll, just for the heck of it, I'll use my Astro Donation to go up one gold. Right, yeah. And then I'll use my Avoid Conflict. And I suppose I'll target my uh, Lorene. Lorene, eh? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll in turn and score four points. Alright, so it's my turn. Six gold. Phase counter is up. My free draw. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my remove distractions nice, draw to. Yes. Sure. Uh, I play research vessel for a location, and I have another free draw. Cool. I'm going to abandon this hidden flower patch, and draw. I play dishearten, and I play it on the senior tactician. All right. Nice. All right. He's weaker. He's not gone though. So. What are you going to do? I activate Efficient Workflow. All right. And uh, Kazen. OK. For Ooh. three. For three. Yeah, yeah. I'll, t I'll use Kazen to attack him. I don't right, have to take enough. any damage. He becomes hostile, but that's fine. Nice. I play another Demoralize. <laughs> this is well, just we comic Demoralize this before. Yeah, well, if we weren't demoralized before, we definitely are now. Oh, you're definitely demoralized now. <laughs> this is just Absolutely. comical at this point. I would like to get my supportive friends to attack Mauricio the Gloomy Poet. Aww. And I get my astute scholar to fight Yumi the Avid Painter. Yeah. And Yumi can't catch a break. All right, so they trade, but that will still count as an attack when you, when you do activate his aggression. Aggression activated. I score three points, and then I produce a slave token. So I think I'm out of... Yes. Oh, oh, sorry, to... sorry, sorry, sorry. Demoralize. Phase one. Uh, one, one. Uh, get rid of Harmless Kitten. Yeah. And what's your second target? Loreen. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I'm okay. going to hit Trent. I'm going to hit Trent. I'm going to hit Trent. Right. So now I think I'm done my turn, and right, I pass. So should be a zero one. All right. My turn six. Don't get all that cost reduction, but it was it was it was gonna too like too good to be true anyway. <laughs> uh, so let's yeah we gained our goal. Let's put our face counters on. So I will play. Start my turn with Yumi, avid painter. Her most expensive play yet. Three. Gross. You yeah. paying full cost? Gross. Yeah, kind of a what am I? Some kind of peasant. Uh, but we'll <laughs> we'll use her art. Sell yeah. that. More gold back. 
And next turn, we'll have our cost reduction back. Whew. I play an efficient workflow. Oh, another one? <laughs> They're all around. And let's uh, let's do the preventive measures thing again, because no! I need a third All right, preventive third measures, here play. we go. Another preventive measure, dude. God, go ahead, take preventive anything you want. <laughs> I think to prevent a burst of point gain, I'm going to take your supportive friends out. All right. Inactive. Yeah. Back to Ivan. Um, you have erase memories. If I don't see something more potent in here. I would get rid of brace for impact. Brace for impact. I don't run brace for impact. <laughs> Joke's oh, on you. Joke is on me. I told Joke's you on you. Wish, you wish I was running good cards in here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no good cards. Erase memories down. All right. And George, one more time. Uh, I'm going to rely on these uh, campaigns to do the work, so termination notice is a no for you. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, everybody shuffle. Right. And I draw a card, and then this is done. Okay. We'll just we'll use remove distractions. I will only get to draw one, yep. and then discard one. I don't think I'll have time for this. But it's done. We'll use our free draw for the turn, the location. So I'll play that for free. We'll use the history education draw, and that'll be done. Um, and then I will continue the demoralizing streak. I'm gonna make it happen on Kazin. We'll 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 make Alvin use some of his. I'm gonna target the. Uh, Slaves with the other one. Cool. All right, and then inspiration is unlocked. I have played a location, Yumi herself, an efficient workflow, and a tactic. So I gain four points. Crazy. And bring back the art. Produce more art, Yumi. <laughs> All right, these fans gotta get rid of the roots. art. Nick is popping. They haven't so far. I think they like art, but uh, we'll see. I, I trust demoralize might hit them, but maybe not. I mean, your your choice. So go ahead. Yeah. All right. So I'll get my gold for turn. I'll get my phase counter. So George, I'll make you a deal. I won't demoralize these guys if you promise to attack this into this, because we gotta slow Nick down somehow. He's gonna get this yeah. on his next turn. No. Yeah, and I have a bunch of other demoralizes for him phases. So. All right. Okay. So I'm not gonna and use my free draw yet. I'm gonna use remove distractions. I think we don't need this anymore. Okay. And then now I'll use my free draw. This is not good at all. All right, let's see. Just to get max value here, I'm going to play Alluring Seductress. And then I'm going to play my champion, Mauricio Gloomy Poet. Uh, I am going to activate Alluring Seductress to take Tren. Because Tren has less than his starting health, he can be taken by Alluring Seductress. And then now I'm going to use this Demoralize, targeting these two denizens here. And... I will go ahead and remove mm. both of them, score myself four points. So I'll go up to yeah, 10. Yeah, that's fine. For my next trick, I'll play Zealous Protester, and then now I'll use this Demoralize. And so, George, since you promised to attack this, I'm not going to target your this, even though that's very <laughs> juicy. So I'm going to go ahead and target this and this. So Yumi is going to get Demoralized again. So I'm going to score myself another two points when Zealous Protester leaves play. Art lifestyle's rough. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I'm going to end my turn and Zealous Protester because he is ardent and he was ardent when he left play and he left play due to having zero health. I will put him back into play at the end of my turn and pass over to you, Ivan. All right, let's see. I'm going to draw a card for my free draw. Let's play the Senior Tactician. So is Kalnea still out? Oh, Kalnea is still out. No alignment mm -hmm. has. I'm going to play Strategic Advice for one gold. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put this at the bottom. Draw a card. Put this at the bottom. Draw a card. It's up to, right? Yeah, up to. You don't have to do it up here. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll just use it up. I'll just use it three times. Cool. Insight is super unlocked. Yes. I think <laughs> I'll do that now. And I can fetch a tactic. Uh... I'm gonna get this drive insane. Yep. There's hope yet. Uh, Nick has to win based on that comment. <laughs> I'll go up a gold using yep. my Astro donations. Makes it all the sweeter when Nick takes it anyways, though. I mean, it's the outmaneuver that's gonna do it, right? Yeah. It gets so. Uh, I'm gonna play history, history of education, and then I'm gonna for my last two gold. I'm a. Yep. 
Discord, ha make sure you boys. guys have a bad day. Yeah. There goes senior tactician, which wasn't needed. Overcharge, which would have been nice, but unnecessary. You a played suit scholar and the school. Yeah. From you, Alvin. Well, I'm glad the astute scholar is gone. That that was huge for you. That destroys me. Agony of defeat. <laughs> yeah, that that destroys me. Swear, but I'm yeah, not, that's, I'm not that's completely out, but I yeah, but that was very good. No, that's pretty. I'm gonna, pretty I'm gonna much use out. this. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this avoid conflict on my senior tactician. Yep. Can't be attacked. Can't attack. Yes, I'm a pass turn. The the board stays like unplayable. <laughs> Oh, maybe maybe for your archetype, but Nick is Nick is having a a, a fun old time over here. Yeah, Remove it all you want. Yeah, yeah. Me. playing Yumi is just I... one more inspiration counter. Yeah, exactly. I activated remove distractions to draw two to draw two cards. I discarded my card. It was the crowded stadium. I'm going to draw another card for my free draw. Beautiful. Kron. I put a search counter inside hidden flower patch. Activate research vessel, and I spend three gold to draw another card. Very nice. Uh, I play safe. I play slave cells, and I also play Ava the Unwavering Optimist. Oh snap! Yeah. Oh so, wow, that's pretty good. So I hit uh, supportive friends into artwork. Oh okay, yeah. And I use Kazen to. You're gonna attack. hit Kazen. <laughs> nice, Mauricio. <laughs> nice, dude. And they just wet noodle each other, I guess. Yeah. Hilarious. And I think I don't have anything else to do, so I guess I, I guess I only activate two points. So that's two points. All right. And I end my turn, scoring another four points. Pass my turn. All right. Will this be the turn? Yeah. Will this be my the gold? turn? I'm on the edge of my, my seat. My phase oh. counters. We start with very excitedly activating efficient workflow. Yeah. So cards cost one oh, less. Oh no. Good start. I play Yumi for two. I will play Family Heirloom no! for two. Because uh, Yumi makes it cost one less, and efficient workflow makes it cost one less, and I will profit two gold off this. It would have been it would have been three gold if I had that tactic. So that's so brutal. Let's uh, sell it right away. Go back to seven. So far we have two types. Um, Actic has a campaign. Okay, so we'll just play this campaign for a counter. Uh, or, you know, you the, the, up, the, up the types of cards for inspiration. Or yep. no, for uh, Yumi's ability. And then I will activate Yumi's ability, score three, and produce an R token. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, sorry, that cost me one. And then I'll outmaneuver Yumi. Mm. Huge. Right. Spending another my one hand, gold. Which really just puts her back into the champion area. Okay. And I will play her. And... Activate the inspiration this time, scoring yet one more for that tactic. GG. Woo! Ding. Nice. Congratulations, okay. Nick. And I did not think you were going to actually beat the time limit of getting there before turn nine, but very well done. You have, yo, Thank you guys. very well, very skilled, very skilled. I feel, I feel right. like I got a really great draw with draw cards and cost reduction effects just coming at exactly the right times. And, uh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, the hard to this whole one, like, game and you still won. Crazy. Hard to fight through this one because I'm just like, play out cards, gain yeah. points. Y'all do the rest. Yeah. You, this You, you picked a very purple. good champion and archetype for this board state because we were just removing everything. There was like nothing that was able to stick because of all the demoralizes yeah. and all the crackdown and crime type things. But Yumi doesn't care. She'll just come in every single turn, play a bunch of random She's stuff, just... and, and score points. She doesn't care at all. So. Dedicated. Every day she shows up, no matter how often she's demoralized or bullied or arrested, I guess. <laughs> Listen to me. That girl is walking she's out arrested, of that canteen bullied, with 20 gold every day. Every day that girl gets yep. 20 gold. It can yeah. work. Like, I, I got to I gotta learn that her deck. That's a good deck. It's a good yeah. deck. That was, that was so cool. So that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meander gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Bye.